Hi there, I'm Black Pride, broadcasting out of the UK, into your homes. And yes, this is the dark side of Love Island. This is part 15. I can't believe I've done 15 already. But yeah, for those of you who do not know what Love Island is and who keep telling me oh, it's a load of rubbish, well, for me it's not a load of rubbish. I love the dynamics. Love Island comes on, like it lasts for about two months, comes on every summer, and it's about a group of islanders who meet together to find everlasting love, a love that will last forever and ever. And while they're in the villa, they're tested and they're tempted. So you get couples that kind of click straight off and they think that's it, and then another couple come in, new islanders, islanders leave, islanders come. And so what we do is when, well, for me personally, I kind of look at it and see who I think is going to last the course, who I think is just a game player and who I think is just messing around and who's serious, of course. So that's a little background. So what have we got tonight? Tonight we have the new guys. They're in Casa Moor and they're in the other place where they the original ones. And each of them are, you know, are gonna try and see if they've got a better connection with the people in Casa Moor than the originals. So we have Shanice and Luke T, who are original couples. We've got Paige and Finn, original couples. Shauna and Callum, original couples. And um, Naz and Demi, original couples. Um, Mike, he kind of was messing around with Jess, and they were technically a couple, but they're not officially a couple. So now they've all separated, gone their own ways, and now they're being wooed by women and men who want to weasel their way into the villa. I mean, it's not genuine half the time. They just really want to stay in the villa because if they don't get a spot in the villa, they have to get on the plane back to where they came from. So that is what's happening now. So Callum and Shauna. Shauna is head over heels over Callum but she's so bloody insecure. She's always talking about how lovely other women should look, what they're going to be wearing and this and that. And it's not an attractive trait. And she needs so much reassurance. So now Callum has gone over to the villa, well, to Casa and Moor, and fancies Molly. Ooh, Shauna ain't going to like that. Look at Molly, though. Molly's a soul, as they say. So that's a bit on dodgy ground. Demi, I'm not quite sure. I think she kind of needed to speak to somebody else to see that she likes Naz. I don't know if Naz's head is going to turn. Yesterday I thought it might. Today I'm not so sure. I think he's, I think he's feeling Demi the way she's feeling him. So they might not turn. I'm surprised at Finley's um, loyalty. I mean, he really likes Paige. And Paige, I reckon those two are okay. Um, the one I think is going to surprise everybody in Casa Amor is Callum because he's such a quiet bloke. And it just it's just amazing how different women or different men bring out a different side of you. I mean, Callum actually said he feels like ripping her clothes off. I don't even think I would have thought that Callum would speak that way. And then when Finley says, do you ever feel like that about Shauna? He says, no. How embarrassing is that? And you know what's going to happen in a game. They'll probably say, and who said, you know, they'd like to strip somebody's clothes off? You know them. They're going to stick They're going to stick it somebody. They're going to um, mess somebody up. They always do. So um, what else was there? Luke T. Nobody wants Luke T. Um, I guess he's not everybody's cup of tea. He's my cup of tea, but he's not everybody else's. So Shanice is safe with him. And then Shanice, yeah, she's she likes her Luke tea, so that's good. Um, what else was there? Um, you're quick to jump in the bloody bed with each other, aren't they? I mean, you know, that 
Natalia, she's got some balls on her, isn't she? Talking to Luke M and saying, can I get in bed with you? I mean, I know nothing goes on. It's just literally um, coupling up in the bed. But at the same token, this girl's got some balls, man. But I'm just, I know, you know it's because they want to stay in the villa. And the thing is, I don't think any of those um, islanders should get too comfy with the new people coming in because they're just vying for a place in the villa. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust them as far as I could throw them. And that, what's his name? Ched. You, you like, you like, you like. It couldn't even, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think with Jess, she likes the, she likes the um, chemistry. And I think she's only going with somebody because she's convinced that Mike is going to be getting it on with someone else. She doesn't trust Mike. But it wouldn't surprise me if Mike holds out for Jet. Oh, no, he's not, because he likes Priscilla now, doesn't he? I think Mike likes his black women, you know. You know, I'm pretty more convinced he likes his black women. But if there's no black woman around, I think he'll go for a white woman. But it does seem like his first preference is black women. But Priscilla's also got kind of a good energy about her. She seems lively. She She doesn't seem too timid you know, too reserved. I don't think he needs to be on his P's and Q's too much. So yeah, she might not be as pretty as Leanne, but I think she's much more approachable. Uh, what else have I got here? So we've got, oh, Rebecca's finally found someone in Jordan and they didn't take too long getting it on, start necking in no time. So yeah, I think that's a definite. So Jordan would definitely stay in if Rebecca has got anything to do with it, providing nothing goes wrong in the interim and nobody spoils the apple cart. So Rebecca will come in with Jordan. Um, who else? Callum will probably come in with Molly. Oh, Sean is going to die. I mean, honestly, anybody think they've been together for years, wouldn't they, the way she goes on? Uh, Finn will stay loyal to Paige. Alexi, he's quite nice. And um, I'm not sure whether... But then again, I thought George was better, to be honest. I think George is better than Alexi. Because he's a bit more cheekier. But um, I don't know about Naz. I don't know if he's going to sway. That's a tricky one. Really tricky. Um, what else did I want to say? Mike and Priscilla. Yeah, she's got some good Im images. Ched, not sure about Ched yet. I need to see a bit more of him, see how he talks. Biggs, I'm not too keen on Biggs. But there again, they haven't given him, they haven't given him much exposure, have they? They haven't really said anything too much about him. I mean, he hasn't been involved in everything. And sometimes when that happens... When they don't give you enough airtime, you can't, nobody's going to vote for you because they are going to have tomorrow night probably. Who do you want to keep in the villa? Whatever. And unless Biggs gets more airtime and we see his personality, he'll get booted out. I think he'll get booted out anyway because there's nobody there that's going to want him. I mean, Jess will want Ched. Yeah, I think Ched and Jordan are only going to be the safe guys the, out of the new guys with the girls. Molly's definitely and Natalia's definitely safe. But the rest of them, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? What else have I got here? I think that is about it. Because I'm not going to just drag it out for the hell of it. I mean, it was quite good. I didn't really get, I wasn't that too excited. I would have preferred it to be a bit more, you know, a bit more exciting. But yeah, I think what made it exciting tonight was Callum, basically. Just seeing a different side of Callum, even though he's still dry. You know, there was just like, you know, you just saw a different kind of side to him. And it's, um, I think it's amazing, really. I think it's amazing how different people bring out different sides of people. So I think that's, I think that's a positive. So we'll have to see what happens tomorrow.
I think, you know, I'm, I, well, let me predict what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, they're going to send photographs to each side of the villa, um, showing them kissing or sleeping or whatever they're doing to make the other side get all nervous and possibly think, oh, I'm not going to wait for him, so therefore I'm going to get it on with someone else. And I think Paige is in danger because I don't think she fully believes that Finn will wait for her because like she keeps saying he's only 20 and he's going to be swayed. But I don't think she realises how much he likes her. So I think Paige is in danger. I, anyway, there's nobody there that she really likes, I don't think. And please, God, don't let Paige let Finn down. Nah, I don't want that to happen. And who else don't I want? And Shawnee's and Lucy, I don't want them to break up. So those are the only two I'm rooting for at the moment because the other ones, they seem pretty obvious. They're, they're not very strong. And that's all I've got to say tonight. So until tomorrow, and we have Love Island again. Have a good night, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.